Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I'm cooking dinner early, but I just wanted to pop in and say hi and show you what I'm making because talk about I'm being super proud. I'm having a super proud moment right now because I'm cooking very, very healthy. And what I did, I'll show you. So this is my deluxe cooking blender. And this morning, I put two cups of milk in here with a, with a half a teaspoon of salt. And I pressed the um, sauce button and uh, it made um, a, a, like a warm, creamy, frothy milk. And then I put in a roux, which was just melted butter and flour. And that had, and I added that to the milk. So now I have like a, the base of a cream sauce. This is what I made earlier. And then at the end, you could do anything you want inside of it. You could do any kind of cheese, but it's the making of a cheese sauce. So this time I put cheddar. I put cheddar cheese in it. Um, a lot of times I put like Asiago and um, uh, what's the other one? Fre Pecorino Romano and I'll make an Alfredo sauce, but it does it all in the cooking blender. It does it all in this beautiful baby. It cooks, this sucker cooks. And the best part is that it cleans itself. Hey, Danielle, how are you, honey? You need this, Danielle, for warm. You make soups in this. Like it's unbelievable. It does everything on its own. I just love it. So I have over here some flank steak and I had marinated it in lemon pepper and soy sauce. That's it. So just steak, Oops, can you see that? Steak with lemon pepper and soy sauce. And I seared both sides. So I'm just gonna throw that in the oven for about seven minutes. It smells really good. <laughs> yeah, it does. So seven minutes just to cook it to medium well. Um, and I made this um, cheese sauce, and let me show you what I'm doing. Let me show you. So I'm making cauliflower mac and cheese. For years and years and years, I used to steam my vegetables in a giant pot on the stove, right? A giant pot with water and a basket inside, and I used to let, it takes forever to boil. Then you put your, your veggies in, and... And then you have to pull the whole thing up with hot water coming out everywhere. Like, it was a burden, right? Okay, so these are the micro cookers by Pamper Chef. It's a little cauliflower. So the micro, micro cookers, they have little vents on top. So you can, not only can you cook them in here, which I steam them, but you can also drain them and rinse them and drain them before you cook them. So this is a drainer slash steam cooker. And I just steamed the cauliflower. I'm just gonna drain whatever juice is left. Oh, there's about like quarter cup, half a cup left in there. I'm draining that all out. Now I've done this with Alfredo sauce too. I've made cauliflower mac and cheese with Alfredo sauce. But today I'm in the cheddar cheese mood. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my cauliflower. Oh, the pan is the, what you call it, Danielle? It's the, the um, cast iron skillet. I've been obsessed. Can I just tell you, I've been obsessed with cast iron. I, I had it over the years and I just never really knew about it. And a lot of people say, oh, it's, they're so heavy and they're hard to take care of. I love my cast iron. I use it for all kinds of things now besides just doing the steak. I do like um, casseroles in it, shepherd's pie in it. Like, oh, I just love the cast iron. It's so easy to clean too. So back to the elf, to the mac and cheese. So I'm putting the mac cauliflower, mac and cheese, the cauliflower, which is the mac. And this is really, really nice. It's like soft. You can cut it with your fork. Can you see that? And then I'm gonna put, actually, you know what? I'm gonna save half of this because the boy doesn't love cheddar cheese sauce. So I'm just gonna do it for the girls, okay? So you have your mac, which is your cauliflower, and you have the beautiful, silky smooth cheddar cheese sauce that the blender made. And not only did the blender make it, but it cleans itself. So the blender made the cheese sauce and washed itself. Okay, and I'm just gonna pour the cheddar cheese sauce on here. Oh. Look at that. Now, if you have pasta eaters in your house, you can also, of course, make some pasta and throw this sauce right on the pasta. But um, it's a new year, right? My best me, I have to do good. I have to eat well. And then I'm just gonna, for the topping, so that's our side dish of mac and cheese, cauliflower and cheese. 
and I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of low fat cheddar on it. Bam! See that? Cauliflower mac and cheese, my friends. So simple. All I had to do was make the sauce in the blender, which does it itself. Then I steamed the cauliflower. So basically I just had to cut it, rinse it, and steam it in my micro cooker. And then I seared the steak on both sides and threw it in the oven. Done. It, looked, it took me like manpower, maybe like five minutes total. And everything else does itself. So, bon appetit. I hope you have a delicious dinner. I'm eating my nice healthy mac and cheese. And uh, the blender is the deluxe cooking blender. I'll send you the link, Danielle. It's like, again, one of those things where like I didn't know I needed it until I have it and now I'm obsessed. You can make soups in here. There's a carrot ginger soup I wanna try next. Um, I made, you make almond milk in it, hummus in it. We make smoothies all the time. You can say hi to the girl. What are you doing eating the cheese? <laughs> She's the cheese thief. <laughs> but um, the blender is super cool. I'll send you information about it. Um, if you joined in, hi. Have a nice dinner. Alana, I see you. Hi. All right. Uh, we're, we're actually done. I have two minutes and I'm taking the steak out and then I'm serving food now. I know it's early. It's only like 4.30, but you know what? Who cares? As long as we're eating healthy, who cares? Everybody be well and talk to you soon.